Oh, these old bones. Oh, how they creak. Sometimes it's hard to get up in the morning. But this is the time of day when I always rise. And I give thanks to God. And I eat my simple breakfast. And I get up and And I put my mat away. This is the time I love the temple space. It's so peaceful and quiet. This is the time when I feel that I can sense God's presence the most. before the noise and the chatter and the smell, before the animals and the birds arrive for sacrifice, before the sellers start shouting out, come by my doves, do you need a lamb? And the poor pilgrims coming in and not knowing exactly where to go, this space is huge. <laughs> and then, of course, there are the teachers and those they teach. And they are all talking at once. And I wonder if anyone is even listening. Well, except for the Holy One. And that is when I saw them. It was an ordinary day, but there was something about that couple when they entered the temple space. Oh, to this old woman's eyes, she looked so young. And she was quiet, shy, but she had a dignity about her as one who knows the presence of God. And he was big and strong, and oh, how he cared for her. He was so gentle of her and the baby. He was very protective. And I was drawn to them, but I stayed back. I did not want to spoil this holy moment. <laughs> you see, the priests, they tolerate me. I take care of the, the poor and the sick. And, and I try to keep them out of their way so that they aren't bothered by the least of these, of God's children. So I stayed behind a pillar, and I watched. And when they came forward, old Simeon, oh, he must be the oldest teacher here, he came down. And he spoke to them, as he often does. But then, he reached out for that baby. And he put his hand on that baby's head and he said, Now I can die in peace, for I have seen the favor of the Lord. Did he think that this baby 
from this simple family was the Holy One of God. Oh, many of us have been waiting for a Messiah. Did he feel this was God's chosen one? Were they here for a special blessing? But no. No, they, they proceeded and it was the same blessings that all children receive. And after the holy rites and the holy words were spoken, the family turned to leave. And that's when the mother spotted me. And she beckoned me over. And I knew that I was entering in the presence of something sacred, something holy. And when I got close, I knew that Simeon was right. This was the chosen one of God. And she handed me the baby. Me. Oh, these old arms have hardly ever held an infant. And I took And I took that infant and I held him close to my heart. Oh, and he smelt so sweet. And when I looked into those infant eyes, he was so wise. And there was a presence about him that was filled with peace. And yet, it seemed as if he held the weight of humanity. And that, that's when I heard in my head the voice of the prophets. A man of sorrow who knows grief, a lamb led to slaughter. And I heard angry voices and noise and clatter and the sound of a hammer. And then I heard the sound of thunder and rain and wind and a horrible sound of something being torn asunder, a great divide. And I shuddered and then I was back with the mother and the father and this baby and the mother reached for her baby and that's when I realized I had been crying as she wiped the tears from this old woman's cheeks and I wonder as they walked away in silence out into the street, who will be there to wipe her tears away in the years ahead? But this I know. Our God does not abandon us. The God of our ancestors, the God of Sarah and Abraham, is our refuge and our strength. 
And we are not alone. Praise be to God. Amen.